Hello, good day. Once again, this is Arvin Alonso demonstrating to you basics of IT application tools, particularly in Microsoft Word. Today, my demonstration will focus on the other areas of the Insert tab, particularly how to use Bookmark, Hyperlink, perhaps how to do a screenshot, and the other areas like header, footer, page number. Okay, so, so let's get started. I already have here an initial document for my demonstration. First, how do we create a bookmark? It says here, bookmarks work with hyperlinks to let you jump to a specific place in your document. That's the very purpose of a bookmark. So how do we create a bookmark? First, you have to determine where you're going to place the bookmark. Now, say for example, in page 2, I have here human resource. I will highlight, click bookmark, and then type the name of the bookmark. Take note, when you type a name for the bookmark, there should be no space. So, if, for example, human resource or HR if you want to. And then click add. Okay, once again, let me demonstrate it. For example, here on for programs and projects, click bookmark, type. Progs and projects. Project. Add. Now we already have two bookmarks. Let me just complete under on, on page three. I'll create a bookmark for financial statements. Add and then lastly future add. So we have two bookmarks. Let me go back to the first page. I'll just press Control Home. The shortcut key to go to the first line of the first page is control home by the way okay so say for example i will highlight this one and now create a hyperlink so highlight and click hyperlink okay you are familiar with hyperlink i believe because you are always accessing the world wide web all the things that you click and leads you to another page is called a hyperlink in the same way, in many other software applications, hyperlink is also possible and available. So, so the shortcut key for hyperlink instead of clicking this one is Control K. Okay. Under the dialog box of insert hyperlink, the first thing that you're going to set is the link to. Is it linked to existing file or web page, meaning in another file or in another web page? Is it placed in this document or are you going to create a new document for the link? Or you would link to an email address. Since we use a bookmark, therefore we select place in this document. That's why you notice here, you already have the bookmarks. Okay. So actually, Headings are possible for your links, but since I would like to demonstrate the use of bookmarks, then we have here. So you can either use the headings. You do you remember how we create headings in a style? Okay. So here, actually, the human resource programs and projects, financial statements, future of ABCD software solutions are actually heading ones. 
heading 1. And this 2 is heading 2. This this 4 actually under the financial statement is heading 2. So these are our bookmarks. If you see a plus sign, click the plus sign so that it will appear. Okay. So say for example that I'll click human resource because what I selected there is human resource. You can have a target frame if frames are available. You can put a screen tip. Okay, say for example, human resource updates. Click OK. And then OK. You notice that we now have a hyperlink. Since we are using a page layout view, in order for you to go to that certain bookmark, you need to press down control and then click the link. You notice that it will go to that bookmark name that we have created. Okay, let me have another one. Projects, control K. Now, I will use the heading one, programs and projects. Okay, financial statement. Control K. I can use this one. Control K. The future. Okay. If you want to include always a screen tip, then on include a screen tip. By the way, what is screen tip? You notice that when I move my mouse over the link, there is a tip that will appear human resource updates that's the screen tip that we placed a while ago while here there is no uh, screen tip that appears except the label of the bookmark okay so i'll click on financial statements what if we would like to have a hyperlink of this income statement to an excel worksheet so you just need to have control K existing file or web page and then you select an Excel file say for example Arvin okay again you can include the screen tip click OK there you go so once you click this one it should open the excel file okay that's it okay so i'll close this one and it will go back to that uh, original document in microsoft word so that's all about hyperlinks and bookmarks now how about if i will use also this screenshot okay i'll click on screenshot you can have this one if you want to these are the other three screens available or three applications available but i would like to use screen clipping and say for example i would like to choose only this portion then the picture is inserted this is what i do actually whenever i would like to get a portion of the window or application that i would like to discuss say for example insert screenshot screen clipping i would like only to get the ribbon then automatically the ribbon is inserted so that's about insert screenshot okay let's proceed to headers and footers what are headers and footers 
header is actually a text or even an object that appears in every page of your document while a footer appears at the bottom of your document header top fo uh, footer at the bottom of every page normally page number is part of either header or the footer okay now so we click on header you can have a built the built-in uh, templates here or you can create your own by clicking the edit header okay say for example i will use this banded take note there are other options here i will use banded okay and then i will say i will place here a b c d software solutions annual report Take note that the design tab appears. Be with the design tab, you can either go to footer and switch between footer and header. Okay, I will go to footer, then I can, I can have my footer here. Say for example, fiscal year 2020. Moreover, uh, if you notice, you can have a different first page header and footer or you can have a different ad or even pages. Your ad pages will have a different text of your header and footer and your even pages will have different one. Uh, let's try for example. Okay, so the first thing that we had a while ago is for the ad pages. Now, you notice that my event pages now do not have any header so you can include one say for example annual report for 2020 and then uh, for the footer uh, fiscal year 2020 ABCD Okay. If you are done, then you can close your header and footer. Since I've said a while ago that page number is part of either header and footer, then you can include. Will you place it on top of every page, bottom, or page margin, or current position? Say, for example, I will choose current position and then select again the template. So, four of page. What does the page mean? The number of pages of your document. So, once I click close header and footer, then notice that my other pages will bear different header and footer. Okay? So that's about header and footer. I hope you learned something new about this presentation. In my next present, uh, video presentation, I will discuss these areas, text and symbols. That's all. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new in this presentation.